Regards to everyone, my name is Lydia Matia and I'm professor at the University of Belgrade, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, Department of Biomedical Engineering. And today I will present the work of my group. Now I will pass to presentation. The title of our work is Investigation of Polymethymetacryl C60 Nanocomposite as Nanophotonic Materials for Potential Medical Application. Beside me in this investigation participated Dr. Ivana Stanković, Milinčić Milica, and Professor Juro Koruk. Here I will present you uh, our motivation what materials and methods we used, results, discussion, and conclusions. Motivation was that actually nowadays we are faced with the increasing use of electronic devices and indoor work, mostly under artificial lighting. This was especially the case during the pandemic where the majority of the world's population worked online. It is well known that high energy light like UV blue light uh, can damage eye structure. In fact, too much exposure to ultraviolet light from sun increases the risk of eye diseases, including cataracts, growth on the eye and cancer. On the other hand, our knowledge about the effects of the blue light are still being researched, but it is known that it affects the circadian rhythm. Uh, in particular, the excessive blue light is theoretically harmful, yet an adequate blue light is necessary for normal visual function. The question arose, can we protect our eyes and how? Material that we use is polymethymetacrylate or PMMA uh, because it's proved to be one of the most convenient high molecular compound widely used as matrices for fullerene containing nanocomposites and also because of its availability, low cost, lightness and other characteristics. The second and the most important one is molecule C60 because of its unique property that we all know, like icosahedral symmetry, 12 pentagons, 20 hexagons, and the uh, uh, size of C60 with P electrons cloud is about one nanometer. In order to apply our scientific knowledge and encouraged by the literature data like development of optical limiters for eye protection in the form of spectacles uh, that exhibits reverse saturable absorption and optical limiting for polymer nanocomposites consist of C60 in PMMA, we synthesized uh, nanocomposites with different concentration of C60 molecules, uh, 0.025 weight, 0.05 weight, 0.75 weight, and 0.1. Uh, the uh, method that we use is <clears throat> proposed by Kawuchi and all, and this reference is at the bottom of the slide. The main goal was to investigate which concentration is the most convenient for the eyes and to protect eye damage. Further, we used uh, spectrometers, uh, UV spectrometer, uh, actually three of them, Hamamatsu, then International Light Technologies USA, and Perkin Elmer Lambda 950, then magnetic force microscopy uh, produced in gel Japan, GSPM 5200, scanning probe microscopy, then halogen bulb, uh, Osram uh, 41,900 SP Germany and linearly polarized light that the light source was the Bioptom device produced in Scepter International Company with the same halogen bulb and Brewster mirrors which transform diffuse light into the linearly polarized one. Uh, magnetic force microscopy was used to demonstrate the influence of different concentration of fuller and molecules in PMMA on the attraction and the repulsion forces and consequently on the complex structural and optical properties. It is demonstrated as one can see the figure. 
uh, that the structure of the complex directly correlates to the ratio of unpaired and pair electrons within the material. Based on investigation, it is demonstrated that PMMA C60 nanocomposite having 0.025 weight concentration of C60 has the best structural and optical properties to be applied as a new material for spe spectacles. Um, uh, at this figure is presented UV spectrometer of different uh, uh, filters that we produced. And since the difference of the specific energy, illuminescence, temperature, and chromaticity of the sun plus PMMA and PMMA plus C60 with different concentration of C60 is significant, as one can see, the best solution has PMMA plus 0.025 weight C60 complex. This complex can be used for both indoor uh, LED halogen neon lights and outdoor lenses for glasses, while other three types of complexes may be used only for outdoor use. Based on these results, optimal concentration of C60 for only indoor use is about 0.025. Wait, it is well known that blue light might be harmful to the retina. Nanomaterial 4 and 6 CC and PMMA transform diffuse light into harmonized light and absorb violet, blue, and UV wavelength. In this investigation, it is presented that the use of blue blocking filters with fuller end with the concentration I mentioned can significantly decrease the high energy blue part of the spectrum present in natural and artificial light sources and at the same time increase the overall comfort of daily tasks while and after using them. Uh, so uh, what is actually uh, 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 the main trick, let's say, uh, uh, during the light C60 interaction, orientation of C60 molecule in space and time is very important. Light travels with the speed of about three multiple 10 to eight meters per second, while the C60 molecules has a rotational diffusion constant in the solid state about 1.8 multiple 10 to 10 per second. At 283 Kelvin, the molecular reorientation correlation time is 9.1 picosecond. It would be uh, it would not be the same situation where photons interact with pentagons or hexagons. So what is the main trick? The trick is that uh, from energy point of view, um, uh, hexagons in molecule 60 is breathing and photons pass through hexagon and penetrate inside cage and interact with zero D cavity, which we named zero D quantum, uh, zero, uh, D quantum uh, cavity. Uh, this uh, result was confirmed by Stuttgart Research Group from Max Planck Institute that demonstrated electri electrically driven single photon emission from localized structure, as one can see at this uh, figure, defects in C60, uh, STM experiment, and revealed electroluminescence optical spectrum in the range from 600 to 900 nanometers with a dom dominant peak at 728 nanometers, which is overlapping with our results that was performed um, uh, using uh, UV spectrometers. So during light uh, C60 interaction, photons in cavity cage generate excitons. Since the exciton creation and annihilation are key processes relying on charge exciton photon conversion, the upper and lower polaritrons are generated as a quantum fluid of light. This is confirmed in our experiment also using UV spectroscopy, uh, where we uh, um, uh, recorded spectra of white lead diode and uh, spectra of white lead diode, which is passing through our blue blocking filter. Uh, and uh, uh, as one can see at this slide, blue blocking filter might offer an effective protection from ocular pathologies while providing a better comfort in daily activities. So what was the challenge? Why we use polarized light? Because it is natural reflection. When we are surrounded by snow or when we are at the seaside and we are under influence uh, of reflection of the sea. 
it will be very interesting to know is there difference of influence of diffuse and linearly polarized light of green and red light before and after the interaction with C60 polymetamethacrylate nanocomposite. So in diffuse light, electrical and magnetic planes, which are always perpendicular, of photons are randomly oriented, as one can see at the figure. Linear polarized light, electrical and magnetic planes of photons are oriented in planes according energy values, blue, green, yellow, and red. Difference between the intensity of diffuse light and linearly polarized light before interaction with C60 in the range from 200 to 1100 nanometers is presented on diagram above, while after the interaction with C60 is presented on figure below. In total, differences without and with C60 are in UVBs near domain between 200 and 1100 nanometers, 42.26 percentage. To explain the differences of area, areas under curves, specific density of energy between diffuse and linear polarized light before and after interaction with C60 molecules, the physical property of C60 should be considered as well as the planes of the electrical field and magnetic fields of photons. These fields are perpendicular to each other and have the same frequency but different amplitudes. When visible light interacts with valence electron of the matter, the effects of the electrical field are dominated by those of magnetic fields and the difference may be four orders of magnitude. Despite that, magnetic forces is weaker than electrical forces. Uh, it is used in electrical motors and many other devices because usually the net electric force between two bodies is zero. However, when charges are moving in two bodies, the magnetic forces are not zero. It is caused by C60 molecule with a diameter about one nanometer, which is a dynamically entity with a rotational diffusion constant approximately 10 to 10 per second. The 60 P electrons on the surface of C60 are moving very fast and generate a magnetic field that strongly interacts with magnetic field of the photons. It means that orientation and order of planes of the magnetic field of incoming photons are very important for light interaction with C60. Another C60 property, wave particle duality, is important for its interaction with light. Here is schematically uh, presented how light behaves when passing through C60. The hyperpolarizability property of C60 and photon hull quantization of its optical angular moment create a new type of illumination that we call sunflower shape, as one can see at this figure. We do it, uh, several biomedical studies and we get a approval, ethical approval, and we did it with our colleague from, med, uh, uh, from medical school from the University of Belgrade. Blue blocking filters with Fuller and C60 increase the overall comfort of daily tasks while and after using them. The initial ophthalmology study based on 50 volunteers indicate that spe spectacles with PMMA 660 with Fuller and concentration of 0.025 weight have advantages in contrast sensitivity compared to the existing similar spectacles in use. The study showed that subjectively, the spectacles with lower concentration of fluorine was statistically significantly superior in all different daily activities for near vision, for mid distance vision, and for distance vision. The next study, uh, uh, was the initial pilot study with participation of 28 volunteers showed that nanophotonic glasses had a statistically significant effect on the quality of the life related to vision three months after use in the entire study sample. The data and the more details can be found in the reference that is below uh, in, at the bottom of this slide. Uh, the next slide was the results of study that involved 80 clinically healthy volunteer participants has shown that the effects of light passing through a fuller and filter on the visual analyzer and the structure of the central nervous system has a positive effect on the mental performance of a person by increasing the efficiency of information processing by visual analyzer and creating better conditions for motor response. Also, in additional study with 17 volunteers, a significant decrease in the activity of frontal and central zones of the right hemisphere in the Delta and Beta 2 ranges was detected. A significant increase was evidence in the activity of 
posterior cingulate cortex in the theta and alpha ranges. This indicates improved coordination of visual information, attention, assessment of the position of the body, inhibition of irrelevant information, and optimization of decision-making processes by using fuller and filter. Uh, the more detail can be found at the reference uh, at the bottom of the slide. So in the conclusion, we can say that in this investigation is presented the use of blue blocking filters with Fuller and C60 nanophotonic spectacles with 0.025 weight percentage of C60 can significantly decrease the high energy blue part of the spectrum present in natural and artificial light sources. Uh, it is experimentally shown that during light C60 molecule interaction, exciton is created and with photons generate polytron. It is demonstrated that the total difference of 42.26 percentage between diffuse and linear polarized light of the same source of light before and after the interaction with nanocomposite complex exists. Polaritron light of C60 generate a coupling of photons and exciton beneficial action on physiological function of brain, such as depression and anxiety. The, um, these uh, filters might be an effective mechanism to protect eyes from ocular pathology, alleviating the functional loss of retinal photosensitive cell in the expected exposure to the blue rich light in the living ambient uh, is high and long enough. For final conclusions of ophthalmological ophthalmological benefits as well as brain visual information processing, further investigation is needed. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.